We're really excited because we've captured rare experimental evidence probing the fundamental structure of space and time. In physics, space and time are intertwined notions, notably in the context of Einstein's theory of general relativity. According to this theory, space and time are inextricably linked in a four-dimensional space-time continuum. It is vital to note that time is a complicated and philosophical issue. While time is widely viewed as a measure of the course of events, other theories propose that time is a human construct rather than an independent object. The road from gravitational masses to particle pathways is circuitous in Newton's and Einstein's space-time theories. In the Newtonian formulation, the masses determine the total gravitational force at any place, which determines the particle's acceleration according to Newton's third law. As in a planet's orbit, the exact route is determined by solving a differential equation. In general relativity, one must first solve Einstein's equations for a specific circumstance to identify the associated structure of space-time and then solve a second set of equations to predict a particle's path. However, Einstein could derive some effects, such as light deflection when traveling through a colossal object, such as a star, by invoking the general principle of equivalence between the effects of gravity and uniform acceleration. General relativity is Einstein's name for the primary theory that defines space-time and provides the prediction of the Big Bang. There are various mathematical answers to this idea and cosmologists attempted to discover the most correct. There are other options, but they all share the feature that the equations describing this solution contain a singularity. Furthermore, when this scenario is physically evaluated, there seems to be a high density of all the stuff in the universe there and then. It is known as the Big Bang. Because of the singularity, certain concepts became infinite while others, unhelpfully, become zero. As a result, general relativity has been unable to foresee what happened previously or how this process started. The widespread consensus has been that it was some massive quantum event. This assumption may still be accurate when explained using a more thorough theory of quantum gravity. However, in recent years, numerous mathematical cosmologists have taken the hypothesis of a pre-Big Bang seriously. One explanation might be cosmic background radiation data from satellites like WMAP. This evidence indicates that the early cosmos had a more extensive scale organization than previous theories expected. Space-time is not an absolute but dynamic fabric impacted by mass, energy, and gravity. Over the years, scientists have worked tirelessly to understand more about time in space. Being a powerful astronomical instrument, the James Webb Space Telescope contributes to our knowledge of the cosmos by viewing distant objects and events. It allows scientists to collect important information about the early cosmos, exoplanets, star formation, and other cosmic processes. The JWST has proven that time does not exist. This is a significant shock that has taken the industry by surprise. What does this mean? Stay tuned as we delve deeper. As the James Webb Space Telescope circles 1 million miles from Earth, it captured a cluster of galaxies around 6.3 billion light years distant as seen by astronomers. This galaxy cluster, SDSS J1226 plus 2149, is so densely packed with stars and planets that it distorts space like a bowling ball on a mattress. The twisted cosmic realm distorted and magnified the enormous things in the distance. Researchers hope to better grasp how space and time interact at cosmic scales by examining these celestial objects and their interactions. There is a massive cosmic lens between us and the objects behind SDSS J1226 plus 2149. This natural lens, along with the James Webb Telescope's viewing capability, enables scientists to see some of the universe's oldest galaxies which formed nearly 13 billion years ago when the cosmos was still young. This effect, referred to by astronomers as gravitational lensing, occurs when a massive celestial object such as a galaxy cluster causes a sufficient curvature of space-time for light to be visibly bent around it, as if by a gargantuan lens, states the European Space Agency. In the image, you can observe striking instances of distorted light created by warped space-time. The cosmic seahorse galaxy appears as a stretched-out red arc near the lens, considerably brighter and thicker than the rest. 
Like many others released by the JWST team, the image is part of a campaign that builds on prior observations obtained with the venerable Hubble Space Telescope. The picture was obtained by Webb's main near-infrared sensor. The near-infrared sensor as part of a mission to explore the early phases of star formation in distant galaxies. The idea of space-time has become a cornerstone of contemporary physics, particularly in gravity and cosmology research. Space-time offers a framework for defining the links between the events and the universe's geometry. It enables us to comprehend phenomena like light bending around massive objects, cosmic expansion, and black hole behavior. These are the elongated red shapes. The Space Agency describes a crimson, long, bright, and distorted arc spreading out near the core, which it dubs the Cosmic Seahorse. Scientists may peek into this galaxy and see the star creation within this remote region of space because of such great magnification. Webb's mirror collects light and is more than 21 feet wide. That's more than two times the size of the Hubble Space Telescope's mirror. Webb can view more distant, older things by capturing more light. As explained above, the telescope is looking at stars and galaxies created nearly a billion years ago, only a few hundred million years after the Big Bang. We're going to see the first stars and galaxies that ever formed, said Gene Creighton, an astronomer and the director of the University of Wisconsin-Milwaukee's Manfred Olsen Planetarium. Webb is mainly an infrared telescope, which means it observes light in the infrared spectrum, unlike Hubble, which primarily views visible light. This permits us to observe a far more significant portion of the cosmos. Because infrared light has longer wavelengths than visible light, the light waves pass through cosmic clouds more effectively. The light does not clash with and become dispersed by these densely packed particles as often. Finally, Webb's infrared vision can see into realms Hubble cannot. Gravitational lensing has the unintended consequence of magnifying distant celestial objects allowing astronomers to examine things that would be too far away or faint. This helpful feature of gravitational lensing has also been utilized to expose some of the most distant galaxies ever discovered by humans. One example is the lengthy, brilliant, distorted arc that spreads out toward the center. The cosmic seahorse is a faraway galaxy whose brightness has been significantly amplified by the gravitational lens, allowing astronomers to observe star creation there. Astronomers anticipate that Webb's sharp eyesight and cutting-edge sensors will shed fresh light on star formation in faraway gravitationally lensed galaxies. According to our present knowledge of galactic development, the earliest generation of stars in the universe was made entirely of hydrogen and helium. These stars gradually produce heavier elements, such as carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, silica, iron, and so on, in their innards by nuclear fusion. They spread them when they exploded as supernovae and blast off their outer layers. This enriched our galaxy's interstellar medium with minerals and metals, which, combined with hydrogen and helium, generated succeeding generations of stars. Time remains one of the few constants in our lives. From the beginning of the cosmos to the present, time is the interval between the past, present, and future. Civilizations grow and fall, stars rise and fall, and our system of recording how those events relate to the present stays unaltered. However, through the James Webb Space Telescope, we realize that time is more complex and straightforward than it seems. We hope you enjoyed watching this video. If yes, we're sure you would like this next video here. Thanks for watching.